Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. In Anime Studio 10, there has been an enhancement to the brush quality of your brush strokes. And so to demonstrate this, we are currently in Anime Studio 9.5 and we applied a star brush to the stroke. If we render this out, you can see, if you look closely, that the stars weren't the best quality. They kind of had some weird line issues on the borders, a little bit pixelated, just kind of a low quality look to them. And so in version 10 that has been changed. So let's open up version 10. We have the same exact file open. Now what we can do is once again just render this out. And you can see now again if you look closely that the brush quality has improved. There's no longer that pixelated look and so that can greatly increase the look and quality of your productions that use brushes. So this, of course, is pretty cool. So, all you have to do in order to get that to work is just use Anime Studio 10. There's really no other thing you have to do to increase the quality. Now, also in version 10, multi brushes have been introduced. You'll notice that there's brushes here that have three dots on the top of their icons. This indicates it is a multi brush. So, Let's click on this stroke here with the Select Shape tool and come back here. And let's add one of these multi brushes. Let's just find one here and click. And then you can see it's applied and it looks pretty good. And so if we click OK to exit out of this window, how is this working? Well, let's go into our Anime Studio folder, Resources, Support, and then brushes. And then you can see here we have our brushes, but we also have folders now. These folders are what contain the multi brushes. As an example, this one right here is the brush we just used. And you can see it contains three different PNG files. So we can make our own multi brushes then. We have a folder here where we just put in four building images. Again, they are PNG files. So once you put the folder into your brushes folder and you restart Anime Studio, we could, for instance, create a new line here. Take the Create Shape tool, create a shape, come over here to the brush panel, and we can find our brush. It's right here. You can click it, and you can see now a bunch of buildings have been applied. Well, in this case, we'd probably want to reduce the jitter to zero. And then from here, we can adjust the spacing of the buildings until you are satisfied with it. We can click OK. And then we can come in here and we can increase the width here, let's say to 200. And you could even take your transform layer tool if you wanted to and increase the line width to increase the size of the buildings. But basically what you see here is we have a row of buildings and you can apply a random order to it. So that gives it even more of a spontaneous look when you have a brush like this. So that in itself is pretty cool. As you can see, we could even extend this line and have the buildings go out as far as we need them to. If you'd like more information on Anime Studio, please visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you next time.